Good morning, everybody. This is when you're polite and stop talking to your seat neighbors. Good morning, everybody. My name is Kalle Dahlheimer. I'm the president and CEO of the KDIB Group, and I am welcoming you all to KubeCon 2016 in Berlin. This is quite a crowd that has made its way into the room here. Um, and it's also, you are quite a unique audience because I don't think this has been tried many times before to bring together five different communities or groups uh, to <coughs> under the same roof for a joint conference. So um, we have here the commercial and the open source Qt com communities. We have the KDE community, the FSFE community, and the VideoLAN community. And uh, I encourage you all to exchange ideas and knowledge as much as you can, because you're probably talking to the people in your own community that you talk to all the time anyway. So use this opportunity to learn about new things, um, help others learn about things that you know. Um, I would also like to encourage everybody to try and bridge the gap between uh, voluntary and commercial software development here. Um, for those of you who, <coughs> who are maybe still, uh, still in college, um, use this opportunity to talk to people who earn their living writing software, what that is like. Uh, for those of you who already pay the rent by writing software, um, learn what's going on in the universities. And obviously, if you're still a student and maybe nearing towards the end or looking for, um, uh, looking for how, what your life could offer you in terms of uh, employment and revenue generating activities, uh, in the future you will find a multitude of companies that possibly could all be potential employers for you. So use this opportunity as well to find out about those and what your career could look like. This is not a job fair, but this is actually better because you will see many of uh, these uh, companies uh, talk about what they do because they send, <coughs> they send their staff here to, to give presentations. And while I'm admonishing you to do things, here are some more. Um, please turn off the, <coughs> the um, audible notifications on your phones. I mean, if you intend to play with your phone, th phone throughout the presentations, then why did you need to come all the way to Berlin anyway? Of course, if you just came three stops by underground, by all means, keep playing with your phone. Um, about the badges. So these badges are slightly buggy. Um, it may well happen that you lose your badge um, because this easily tears off here. So what I suggest you do is, at a suitable time, maybe when they're not overcrowded down there, uh, go to the registration desk because they have a tool that helps you fix the badges. And this tool is means integration of traditional means of production into the modern software development process. More precisely, you will glue two paper stickers onto your badge. One more thing about the badges. Um, Please wear your badge at all times while around here security has been instructed to escort you out if you don't wear your badge. So um, do the paper sticker thing early on in the conference before you lose it. And if you find somebody else's badge, please return it to the front desk. And if you lose your badge, please go to the front desk and reclaim it there in the hope that somebody has already returned it. Then uh, there is a conference app, so go to your favorite app store and download the conference app to find up-to-date information about rooms, uh, speakers, times, and so on, and so on. And uh, this is probably a good time to introduce to you the different communities that we've brought together here, so each of them will give you a very short intro into who they are so that those of you who are from a different community can get a first idea of what those other people that you haven't seen at the, your usual conferences uh, before. And uh, then after that, we'll get the keynote started. So let me first welcome 
Lars Knoll, who represents both the Qt company and QtProject.org. Welcome, Lars. Thanks, Kalle. Um, it's actually a pleasure, really a pleasure to be here, and I'm really looking forward to this conference, much more so than to some of the other um, Qt contributor summits that we have had in the past just because we have so many other communities here. We have KDE, we have Videolan. I know they're both using Qt extensively. And, you know, it's going to be very good to have you here, to have talks with you guys about what are you doing, you know, what are you missing in Qt, what would you like us to do. So I would encourage all the Qt people to really go out, you know, talk to the KDE guys, talk to Videolan, talk to also FSFE and everybody else, find out what they're doing, what they need from us or what, how we could help. And, you know, all the other communities really, please come to the Qt guys and tell them what you need. Qt is, as a technology, in a little bit of a special place here because um, we are base, basically both open source and commercial. You know, 20 years ago, a bit more than 20 years ago, it started off with a company in Norway creating Qt as a technology and selling it commercially. And since then, you know, we've always opened up more and more towards the community. We've been trying to, you know, be as open as we can with everything we're doing with all the technology. And it led to nowadays really us doing pretty much everything that we have out in the open under open source licensing. And we still have, you know, that commercial backing, which really helps us, you know, push Qt forward at a very fast pace and get lots of things done. We've been working with that last year. We've been had, having lots of talks with KDE. We have a contract with KDE to ensure that Qt always is, remains open. We've been doing a big work there to renew that contract. And now, you know, we've added a lot more content to that. We made sure that all Qt versions, you know, on desktop and mo mobile, all our tooling always remains open. And that's what we've been doing now. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of a special position. And it's, but it's a great position to be in. We can work on Qt. You know, many of the contributors get paid. You know, KDAP is one of the biggest contributors outside of the Qt company to it. And at the same time, we're all doing open source. So that's fantastic. And we really, I'm really happy that we can continue to do that. So what I'd like to say to finish off, enjoy the summit, use the opportunity to talk to everybody. For Qt, let's figure out what we want to do in the next year, two or three years to come and would then work towards that. Thank you. Thanks, Lars. And next up, please welcome Lydia Pincher from KDE. Welcome, everyone, also in the name of KDE. It's really great to have you all here. 2016 is a very special year for KDE. Um, we've made a lot of technical advances that you will hear more about uh, during the rest of the conference. But KDE is also turning 20 years, which for a free software project is a remarkable achievement. And this conference, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And this conference is also our way to celebrate those 20 years and plan for the next 20 years and more. Um, but we've also uh, done something really important for the community in 2016 already, which is write down our vision. It has not been an easy process, but we've come to agree that um, we strive for a world in which everyone has control over their digital life and enjoys <coughs> freedom and privacy. This is really important in today's world and we KDE can't do this alone. So I'm really thrilled to have uh, this conference together with you um, to foster our ecosystem and um, get us closer to that vision. Um, so of the people who consider themselves part of KDE, who is at their first academy can you please stand up? Yay! This is the perfect conference to have your first academy. Um, 
for you and everyone else. Have a great conference. Make good use of all the great communities we have here. Thank you. Thank you.